Road, Dublin 1831, Station was Western Road Station, and it was later on its name changed to the Pearson Station. The Jackson Station and the Pearson Station It was, however, virtually destroyed by shell fire and gun fire. You still see some of the bullet parts in the outer six columns. The reason we say outer six columns is they are the only part that is left standing after the barrage of bullets. We are on Holland Street, we're heading down to the Holland Bridge. Holland Street is named after this time of year again. As we cross off of Connell Bridge, if you look down while we're waiting here, if you look down to your left, you will see a big building with a big bell on it. That is the Custom House. It was designed by James Gandon. James Gandon's an Englishman. He won the competition to design the building for Dublin. The building was a Custom House. He came to Ireland, he was the building of it. He liked Ireland as long as he stayed. Among the buildings he has designed for the Irish was the Custom House. He also designed the four ones. He designed a building called Sixteen, which is the Cutting of the Building. He made one great building. He made one great Oh, this is Times Hostel? Yeah. It's a city centre university. It hasn't always been that way. In fact, we had Times Hostel. Historically, the original name of the Trinity College was the College of the Blessed Trinity, including Queen Elizabeth, near Dublin. It was actually built outside the Wall. Opened in 1492, by Queen Elizabeth, on the 4th of Queen Elizabeth, 1599. Times Hostel. Yeah, yeah. the Times Hostel. Times Hostel. Now, it was outside. Um, now, Building directly in front of us, we will get back to the building in a moment. Building directly in front of us, this is the Bank of Ireland building. This was partially designed by James Gandon. It originally stood as the Ireland building for Ireland, and in 1817, on the passing of the Act of Union, government, government was you will free walks for you. Okay, so here we are, stop three for those of you who are leaving me. Those of you who aren't leaving me, we will carry on. So 
We are now at Nassau Street. Nassau Street is the street if you want to do some shopping, if you want to bring something back to your local or people you can come to contact, you have the wonderful Irish shop. Yeah. And cafe, where you will get the fish bar. Yeah, here's Stephen's Green. Street is the national museum of Ireland. Okay, okay, okay. Right. 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 As we put it, stop here to do your first Tuesday side to the hotel, which no longer in use as a hotel. It was, however, the place where an Irish writer, gentleman by the name of James Joyce, met the love of his life, a woman called Laura Barnacle. Stretching the constables, these are referred to as the Keystone Cops. Now, the area we're on, which I just spoke earlier about the Wide Streets Act, where we decided to make the streets as wide as possible. That organisation was founded by a mixture of Jeremiah and Air. And Air Street is here on the right hand side, and the area we're coming up now is the right side of the street. And the stroll to the back of our also has something to do with the Bunny statue up to your left on Suffolk Street. And you can also visit the National Wax Museum just around the corner. Oh, the Wax Museum is here. There, so you can visit, you can still buy a bar of lemon soap to so bring back out as a souvenir. Look for the home, or you can just wear those boots and the back station for a few seasons. Is now, as we go through these shops, like we're sitting on a street called the Lincoln Place, and this is going to lead us down to Marion Square. Lincoln Place is named after the American Bones in the Hudson District. And as we turn here, heading to Marion Square, if you look over to your left, you will see the American Bones government. This building here on the corner is the If you look at the closest and to Ferry Square, you can see a statue of Oscar Wilde. That statue is one of the statues made of the sort of rock paper all over the world. You can see a maker. He's lying back here, posing on his rock, and he's looking at his boy's tone. Now, but it is known as a poet and a dramatist. He's the presence of the square to enjoy. First behind this already is the National Gallery. Entrance is now around the corner of Clare Street where this has been set up. Building after this is right to the house. If you look down through the railing, you'll see that the house which is the headquarters of our government. The next one that we come to is the National History Museum. All has been known to Dublin for the we called it the Dead Zoo. Quite simple. When we were children, admission to the zoo cost one pound fifty pence. Admission to the Natural History Museum cost nothing. Therefore, if we managed to get one pound fifty pence, instead of spending going to see the live animals in the real zoo, we would come and see the dead animals in the Dead Zoo. We would have seen our animals, we would have one pound fifty pence, we would go and we would buy tents and cigarettes and we would be naughty little boys. Yes, I was that little child, but that is the reason we call it the Dead Zoo. So our next stop, which is stop number six, is the stop for Lensday House, it's the stop for Irish House of Parliament, it's the stop for the Marion Hotel, and it is the stop for my favourite, the Dead Zoo. Now, very, very impressive building on your right. That is the department of Antisha. Antisha is Irish word, it is the official name we give to our buildings. 
the work has not built in Dublin. How do we know where George's building? George's building is four stories over the basement. The basement was used for the servants. The first and second floors were used for entertaining. The third floor was the bedroom for the adults and the top floor. Don't to us, don't as simply the grades. You don't know what the sense is. You don't know what the sense is. It's the grades. The hotel on your right is the Shelburne Hotel. It is one of Dublin's oldest luxury hotels and among the people who have visited and stayed here have been people such as Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, Chris. Next up we have the Dan Church. The Dan Church is the church where Dan has got a three times Lord Balsam has previously gone out with another car driver for a while, she's a writer, but she decided to drop off her car so she could have gone to the bed. And that was what happened in the chapter of the Lord Balsam, which is the most amazing story in the world. But you probably know about Oscar Wilde, and that's what he said in the second floor of the chapter, and he's the Thank you. As we go through these lights, coming up on your right hand side, Dr. Patrick Psychiatric Hospital, founded by John Swift in 1740. 